Please, maintain speed at 60 kilometers per hour. government is cooperating fully. Every airport and all public transportation out of the state of Chihuahua are being monitored. We have surveillance at every border crossing into the states. We have 20 agents canvassing the neighborhood with photographs of every known terrorist. Excuse me? Well, I'm sorry if the Palestinians think that we sabotage the talks. Look, we could point our finger at them just as easily. 
The Palestinians didn't do this. It was a mercenary job, Zvi. I have to call you back. Yes. Shalom. Five people in the flea market recognized the picture. Bettina Fuentes. And where Bettina is, Klaus Bausen is nearby. Klaus and Bettina. Murder for hire. <laughs> It's clear. I told you, next time it's going to be jail time. Here you are. Didn't you believe me? I believe you, senor officer. But these are my sister's relatives. They have no food, no work. Now, how can I leave them to stop? You must help us, please. My husband, he is very, very sick. He's dying. He needs a dog. Please. <laughs> Must move. Then you carry him for a while. Hang on, hang on. There. The signal. He's not far now, George. You can do it. See. High fever. Por favor, señora. My money. Colin, pay him. Come visit my office, boy. Oh. Then step on it. He had a fever. Two days. This is infected. When did this happen? Several days ago. How? I don't know. Mother of God. Honey? Oh, not the light. No. Light. I hate the light. Mm. I want to see your face. Mm. Mm. Why do you want to get pinky? Why not? Well, Michael, turn the light on. Mm. Happy anniversary. Oh. Oh, it's 
beautiful. Oh, Michael. <laughs> oh, mm. thank you. Thank you. Mm. Oh, not tonight. No. Ugh. Yours or mine. 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 It's the office. Same. You don't suppose they're calling the wishes a happy anniversary, do you? Here to see Dr. Kern. Julia, tell me you're from the Centers for Disease Control. <laughs> We're from the Centers for Disease Control. Thank you. I'm Julia Kern with the State Health Department. Michael Whitney. Michael. Bonnie Whitney. Bonnie, nice to meet you. Uh, please come with me to the fifth floor. How's your flight? Excuse me, doctor. Doctor. Doctor, I'd like to comment. I'm with Channel 9 News. I'm sorry, you'll have to get all your comments from public health. Yeah, we've heard the PR story. We've also heard there's a half a dozen people dead here. Is that true? I'm sorry, I'm not at liberty to comment. Is that a corroboration? Are there people dead? That is the local news, and it's just the beginning. How much have you been told? Well, uh, you've got nine cases of an undiagnosed fulminating infection with three deaths. Five. Two more died during the night, and we have 14 cases with six more on their way in from Jericho. Jericho? That's a small town south of here. It seems to be where it started. Is there no response to antibiotics? We've tried massive doses of every known antibiotic and antibacterial. None of them work. I've never seen anything spread this fast or kill this quickly. I know it's been 10 days it's hot, but until we have evidence that they've left the country, I believe we should run the operation from here. Well, fine, then you give me another choice and I'll take it. Fine. I'll call you tonight. Shalom. See? What? We received a report from the U.S. Border Patrol on border incidents for the past week. A Border Patrol officer was shot and killed last week at the border near Jericho, New Mexico. No suspects. Tell Dove I want men on it. Today. She's the last of four nuns who worked at the Jericho Clinic. The other three died. Has anyone interviewed any of these people? No one's been brought to us that wasn't already in coma. Oh, it looks like hemorrhagic fever to me. That's what I thought. But what kind of hemorrhagic fever has an incubation of 24 to 48 hours followed by fever, organ infection, and death on the fifth or sixth day. Well, it sounds like pneumonia. They bleed into their lungs. That's what kills them. That was a good call yesterday. Feel the spleen, buddy. Feels like a softball. What's the post-pathology? The spleen has been four to five times the normal size in every case. I'm telling you, this one's not in the literature. We're pretty close to Mexico and Central America here. There are types of hemorrhagic fevers indigenous to these places. At worst, this is a mutant form. Bonnie, I'll head for Jericho and start to track the source. And I'll set up a biohazard quarantine here. Now, the lab in Atlanta has already started culturing the blood specimens you sent. So as soon as we profile the virus against known hemorrhagic fever viruses, I'm sure that we're going to find some similarities. Got a whole mess of footprints. Figure five guys. Cartridges are over here. How many? Two. What caliber? Nine millimeters. Figure he surprised a bunch of wetbacks and he started shooting. The FBI sent you out after the horse left the barn. Still on vacation. Well, he might as well have stayed there. The boy's been over this area with a fine tooth comb. Yeah, yeah, I gotta go through the motions anyway. Border patrolman gets killed, it's my job to investigate. You boys find an officer's handgun? No, killer's more likely to. There's 
was six, not five. Mexico. One man was dragged all the way through there. That man was carried right here. They laid him down and they waited. Probably for a signal from the coyote to make sure it was clear. And they picked him up. And they dragged him all the way through the fence. The Mexican, the rest of Europeans. And how do you know that? Cut of the soles, the stitching. One's a woman, gentlemen. Long blonde hair. Size seven shoe. I'm not talking about a bunch of illegal immigrants. Sneaking across the work of Beanfield. Drug runners. Carrying a disabled man? I don't think so. You guys equipped to cast those footprints? Yeah, we'll call friends. No, it's all right. I carry all my own supplies. Thank you very much. Our best assessment at this time is that we're dealing with an unknown form of hemorrhagic fever. It's highly contagious, probably through the air, from the lungs of infected patients. Oh, this is worse. spacesuits coming this afternoon for all of us, so that takes care of the air problem. We can't tell you this isn't dangerous work. It is. If any of you choose to leave, we'll understand. We hope you won't. We need all the help we can get. I have a family. We all have families. So do the patients. Well, if you stay, you'll be living here until we get this thing under control. And if you leave, you can't return. Is that clear? We're going to be sealing off the entire fifth floor to everyone but incoming patients. If I leave, am I contagious? Nobody's contagious until the disease reaches their lungs. That takes a few days from the onset of fever. If any of you who decide to leave come down with fever, get back here immediately. I'm sorry, but we need your decisions now. As soon as you get to Jericho, I want to hear from you. And I want you to call me twice a day till this whole thing is over. Michael, we're both going to have our hands full. Don't count on twice a day. Bonnie, please, twice a day. I want to know you're OK. And don't take any chances out there. There's a lot, a lot of rugged country and a lot of strange people. And I'm a woman alone. You'll never get used to me working in the field, will you? No, I won't. I'm a professional. Yeah, but you're a professional I love. And I love you too, doctor. Shalom. Here are all the audio tapes and picture negatives we've collected till now. Aaron's following the Indian north in his truck. He's visiting tire shops. A blonde woman and four men, huh? That's what the Indian says. Must be them. Uh, we moved our headquarters to this side of the border. The Paloma Motel near Las Cruces. Got it? Now you boys, stick to this Indian like honey. It's his country, so... 
Let's use his brain. And if he finds them first, then what? These people are ours, Lev. Yes, but he wants them for murdering the border cop. Lev, these people are ours. Yes, sir, my friend. Found it. There ain't no doubt about it. That is the stock tire they put on that model before it left the factory. Just bet you money that you're looking for a Chevy Suburban. Chevy Suburban. You bet. Thanks a lot, buddy. Appreciate your help. Blood Honda Central, Blood Honda Central, come back. This is Central, go ahead. Good alert, state police to be on the lookout for a late model Chevy Suburban carrying one blonde female and four males. They're wanted in connection with the Border Patrolman's murder. Now I advise to proceed with caution, for they're armed and dangerous. I repeat, armed and dangerous. Bloodhound over now. Closer to home, a spokesperson for the Las Cruces General Hospital announced that admissions of patients with unexplained fever continue to increase. Dr. Gerald Hyde of the Department of Public Health is urging the public to take precautions against unsanitary conditions and keep away from crowds. The first sign of high fever and accompanying headache should be reported to your physician or nearest hospital immediately. Dr. Hyde had no comment on rumors that a large number of people have died from the illness. Coming up after these messages, we'll have sports and... Yeah, with the blonde and four males about a week ago. No, oh, I remember the blonde, okay. She was a looker. There were five men. They came in near dawn Tuesday a week ago. That suburban was down a couple courts. I told them she had a leak, but they were in a hurry. They had a man down with fever and needed a doctor. I sent him to the clinic in Jericho. Did you happen to catch a license plate? No, I sure didn't. What about the color of the suburban? Black, maybe, or dark blue. Listen, if I send somebody by, could you uh, possibly give them a description of the people that you saw? What I can remember. Oh, that'll be just great. Thanks for the information. Send for this bloodhound, come back. Go ahead, bloodhound. I've got an update on that Chevy Suburban and a man who can identify the occupants. Are you guys available? Over. Sister Margaret died. Nothing from Atlanta? No, not yet. These tissues are nonspecific. They're loaded with fragmented red and white cells. Yes? This is CDC in Atlanta. Dr. Whitney there? Yes. We're ready to transmit electron microscopic findings on your blood sample. Go ahead. like a file of ours. Then it is hemorrhagic fever. Yeah, but it's not like any I've ever seen. It's not Ebola or Marburg or Machupo. Then what is it? I don't know, but we're going to need another brain on this one. Listen, I want you to call your people in Albuquerque and impress on them that we're dealing with an untreatable, deadly virus that can take out the whole state and maybe the country. Yeah, Dr. Sato, please. This is Dr. Michael Whitney calling, and it's urgent.
sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. Hey, I didn't mean to scare you. Elgin Sweetroot, FBI. It's upside down. Dr. Whitney. Bonnie. Centers for Disease Control. Doctor, huh? Well, Doc, I'm sorry I ignored your sign. I was checking out the window. What's the quarantine for? That's what I'm here to find out. Well, it must be scarier than chicken pox if the CDC sent you all this way. What's the FBI doing here? A Border Patrol officer was killed. I'm tracking the group that did it. A man down the road said he sent them over here because someone in that party was quite ill. I thought maybe somebody here might remember them. Nobody's here. Yeah, so I see. Looks like the whole town is hiding out. Doc, does that quarantine extend to the town limits? Not yet. Well, I was thinking that uh, if he did get examined here, there must be some type of record, correct? Yeah. Could you check for me? Please. All right. What was his name? Well, I don't know his name, and killers rarely use their true ID. <laughs> when did he come in? A week ago Tuesday. Do you know what he looked like? What his symptoms were? No, I don't know what he looked like, but I do know that he was too weak to walk and that he had a fever. And he came from Mexico? Yeah, that's correct. They admitted a man with fever that morning. Fever 105, hemorrhagic blisters. Two days and that's it. File ends. So they let him out? File's incomplete. He could be anywhere, right? I mean, he's either long gone or he's in another hospital. Based on the file, your killer's probably the reason this clinic's quarantined. And given the clinical progress of the disease, he's already dead. So this isn't the chicken pox, is it, Doc? We're dealing with a deadly virus. It's going to kill a lot more people than this guy you're chasing. Do you think the rest of this group's infected? The way he infected this clinic, I'd bet money on it. I gotta stop this thing from spreading beyond this area. How many in the group? Well, five now. Your five fugitives are a disaster for me. They could be in another state by now. Well, you better hitch up with me then, Doc, because wherever they are, I'm gonna find them. This is not what I signed on to do. Might as well be back in Belfast pumping petrol for wages. And I am delivering sodas. So? So you're a woman. And less power to you. <laughs> He's getting worse by the minute. I told you to keep the ice on him. I'll leave that to you. He's your friend. I don't even like being in the same room with him. Then get out. You have bad energy for him. B bad energy, is it? <laughs> well, let me tell you something, girl. That bloke's a goner. Why? I got better, so will he. Well, what if it doesn't? I mean, we can't just sit here waiting for him to recover. What, you really think the coppers have no idea yet about who did the bombing? They got every agency in the world working on this. He is one of us, and we wait for him. Would you want us to leave you behind? Get out! Two days, Bettina. They must recover in that time. Or...
Hello? Michael, it's me. Hi, sweetheart. Are you okay? I'm fine. Listen, we've got major trouble here. This is a totally new strain of hemorrhagic fever. We've had nine more deaths so far. How many new cases? 27. No survivors so far. Everybody just keeps dying. Have you found anything? The first person to die here was a man from Mexico, admitted on Tuesday, June 1st. He had all the signs and symptoms of the disease. What part of Mexico? I don't know. Apparently, he came in illegally with five others. I'm here with an FBI guy who's trying to find them. Well, if we can just pinpoint the origin for the Mexican Department of Public Health, you know, maybe they can find some survivors with antibodies. The state police are looking for their car, and I've got a list of clinic employees. I'm just going to knock on doors. Maybe somebody can remember what direction they were headed in. Yeah. Michael! Sweetheart, I gotta go. Atlanta's calling. Stay in touch. I love you. Michael. Oh, God. Not a word to bother. Promise me. Promise. Klaus a former member of the Bader Meinhof gang was identified by the service station owner as ill with fever. <laughs> Bettina Fuentes, we already know to have been in the vicinity of the explosion. Peruvian, of German descent, she was a member of the Shining Path terrorists. Mm. Our witness identified three other men in the vehicle. George Davia, another ex-Shining Path terrorist. <laughs> Colin Ofe was expelled by the IRA for informing. He is suspected in the killing of more than 60 people. Freddie Wakeman, <clears throat> a British mercenary, specializing in explosives. We have no identification on the fifth man. Lights, please. <clears throat> they were driving a dark blue or black Chevy Suburban. They couldn't have gone far. Thousands' illness would have slowed them down. Wouldn't it be useful to share this information with the American authorities? Yeah, would that help? We are operating in a foreign country. Once they discover we are here, they'll stop this operation. Jumping 17.88 points to a record 3,604.86 and heavy trading. And from south of the border, it has been 11 days since the terrorist bombing that claimed the lives of nearly a dozen Israeli and Palestinian delegates to a secret conference meeting in Chihuahua, Mexico. Accusations of responsibility continue to be hurled between Israel and Arab nations, but authorities maintain they have no evidence yet as to the identities of the killers. In news closer to home, flash flooding occurred in the foothills north. They must have Scott and Yard running the case. There you go, believing the bloody telly. Are we getting another dose of your paranoia, Freddy? Oh, I'm getting well sick of it. What's wrong with you? I think I'm coming down with a sickness. Of course. What? Well, I feel hot. Weak. Ever since I known you, boyo, you've been a hypochondriac. If you roosted near a maternity ward, I think you'd have labor pains. Klaus had it. George has it. And why you? Bettina's been breathing George's air for five days. Does she have it? the bloody signal knock. Why do you think we have it? I'm, I'm sorry, I forgot. What do your people say? The Israeli Mossad are here, in New Mexico, looking for you. I knew it! Shut up. Have your people found us a way out? They're making progress. Progress? They've had 11 days. But this was all unexpected. They said if it hadn't been for the delay for the illness, you would have reached the coast before the ship sailed. Now there is no ship. And with the Israeli Mossad looking for you, they are afraid to trust the airport. We've got to get out of here, Klaus. Freddy, shut up. I won't say it again. You go back to the phone 
and tell your people that we need a safe house, immediate. First thing in the morning, you bring us from the pharmacy, hair dye. We need to disguise. You buy another car for us. This car we drive is too dangerous for us. Go now, Assad. You remind them of payment. I want our two million Deutschmarks at the safe house when we arrive. No delays. George can't travel. I know. What tribe are you from? Navajo. A nitrite's a Navajo delicacy. <laughs> <laughs> you want to tell me about this disease, Doc, or is it a state secret? It's a virus we call hemorrhagic fever. Its source could be any infected animal, monkeys, bats, rats. Like the plague. This is worse. The plague responds to antibiotics. This doesn't. If antibiotics won't cure it, Doc, what will? Nothing we know of. Our best hope is to find someone who survived it. They'll have antibodies in their system, and these antibodies can be used to help treat infected people. If nobody survives, Doc, what you're saying is it can wipe out the whole world. There'll always be those who have a natural resistance to disease, even this one. But how many millions will die because they have no resistance? That's the question. Hello, Steve. Glad you're here. Hello, Michael. This way, I'll show you the word. This must be big. I needed the expert on hemorrhagic fever. Don't tell me. Yeah, there's no doubt in my mind. Damn. What about Bonnie? Is she here? Uh, she's in the field. She's trying to track down the source. Steve, I have to tell you this. I may have accidentally infected myself this afternoon. Oh, no. I stuck myself with a needle. You drew blood? Yeah. Michael. I want to keep working. But you should be resting. And that's not going to change the prognosis. Where are you going to send me? I'm already in isolation. I'm in a sealed spacesuit. Now, you need my help. And I want to do this. How many more names on that list? None. We've reached the alphabetical bottom. Wait a minute, hold it. Someone's in there. I just saw the curtain move. Open up, FBI. Open up. What's your name? Maria Reyes. Is Isabella your mother? I'm Dr. Whitney. Could we speak with her? She died. Oh, I'm sorry. Did she have the fever? Like my father. Where is your father?
appeared at least five years older than their age. Were she preparing them for the Undertaker? Just leave her to me. You got it right this time. There is a car arranged. It will be waiting for us outside the parking lot of the Oasis Cafe outside Silver City after dark. A tan station wagon. And the safe house. There is a place called the Tipping Tea Ranch, east of Tucson, Arizona. Everything is arranged there. Are you here in this? If you've been in or around Jericho, New Mexico, or have the following symptoms. Difficulty in breathing, high fever, nausea, swelling of the abdomen, and unaccounted for bruising of the skin. You are urged to seek immediate medical attention. Health officials stress that this disease is highly contagious and requires immediate isolation. So far, it has taken a number of lives with dozens hospitalized. Coming up next, weather and sports, the sun shines on New Mexico. What is this? George is contagious, what it is. It belongs in a bleak hospital. Can't take him to the hospital. What if he gets delirious and talks? We can't take him with us. No. Klaus. Klaus. Klaus, no! He carried his arms for miles. He saved your life! Remember the rule, Bettina. Leave behind no wounded. planning on protecting the population of this state. We are working around the clock to isolate and identify this virus. You mean you don't know what this is? Not yet. At the moment, we're calling it Jericho fever. In the meantime, we want to reassure you that there is no reason to panic. Excuse me, doctor, but how do you expect to reassure the people when this thing is obviously so deadly that you have to isolate yourselves behind a TV camera? Yeah, right. This is standard quarantine procedure. Uh, not like any quarantine procedure I've ever yeah. seen. Doctor, what about... Where are we going? To the hospital in Las Cruces. I'm not sick. No, you're not. But they have people who can take care of you. That's what the sisters at the clinic told my mother. And she died there. She was sick, Maria. You're not. Maria? Do you remember seeing any people who arrived there about a week ago? A blonde woman and five men. They came with the sick man. Do you remember anything about them? Uh, maybe where they were going? They just took the sick man and drove away. They took him? He got better, so they took him. The man with the fever got better? Yes. The fever went away, and he said he's hungry, and they took him. Could you get me Las Cruces on the radio? You bet. So our man's alive. He's more than alive, he's a walking treatment center. The man's full of antibodies. Yeah. Hi, sweetie. Hi, Bonnie. Where are you? I'm about 40 minutes away. I'm bringing in a little girl. She's not sick, but she needs social services. Will you let the staff know? Sure. But she's not going to be able to come up and see me. But maybe sooner than you think. The guy that started this little epidemic. Are you serious? I've got an eyewitness, so I'm walk away. Okay. Svi. <sighs> Lev reported in. Klaus is alive. Right, Freddy? Yeah. I just need some bloody food in my stomach is all. Well. If 
you wish to behave like a petulant child, Bettina, you have come to the wrong place. George was a soldier. He died as a soldier, just as you and I, when our time comes. Drive faster. I'm not keen on spending two hours with spit flying. Colin, shut up. Stay with the speed limit, Hassad. I don't want to attract the police. Excuse me. I'm Dr. Whitney. Could you send down social services for me, please? Yeah. Of course, Doctor. Hello? Julie, it's Bonnie. How are you? Hi, Bonnie. I'm fine. I'm downstairs. Could I speak to Michael? Bonnie, it's Steve Sato. Steve, hi. Glad to have you here. I can't say I'm glad to be here. Bonnie, I'm afraid there's been an accident. What? It's not Michael. He's done with fever. Oh, I have to see him. Bonnie. Hey. You don't have to go to this floor. I'm sorry, ma'am, but no one's allowed in this elevator without oh. permission from Dr. Sato. I'm not going to let you my husband say that. I'm sorry, doctor, not without permission. Don't so ask me! Let her go! Now, she's going to go upstairs, and nobody is going to stop her. Do you understand me? Go in there and put on quarantine gear. This isn't happening. Tell me it's a nightmare. Yeah, maybe that's what it is. I need you to stop it. Don't ask me to leave, Michael. I'm staying. You can't help me by doing that. The only chance to stop this nightmare is to find that survivor. Other people can do it. I don't trust others. I'm not going to leave you. You got to, buddy. For me and for everybody. Please. Please. Get out of here. Please. Sorry about your husband, Doc. 
He needs me to find a needle in a haystack. Yeah, well, I've got a lead on the haystack. A motel outside of Deming reported a dead man in one of their rooms. Fever? Yeah. But that's not what killed him. The medical examiner said he was shot in the head. The motel manager said he was part of a group of six. And that he recalls a blonde woman. Where's Deming? Deming? Hmm. They're heading west. I think it's about time for you and me to get out in the field. We're still driving the Suburban. Blood on to Central, do you copy? Central? I've got a further report on that Chevy Suburban from the motel register. It is black with New Mexico plates. License plate Thomas George Young, 761. I repeat. He's sleeping. It's dark. Let's go. Look, you know he's got the fever. I won't be in the same space with him again, you understand? You understand. I make the decisions here. My decision is to pick up the new vehicle and to eat dinner. When I decide what to do about Freddy, I will let you know. Now, let's go. Out car. The key. We put the bags in the car. Fears continue to mount in the city as people stay off the streets and out of the workplaces. Downtown streets are empty, but as people attempt to flee, traffic jams the highways, and bus and train terminals are overflowing. State health officials caution that leaving the confines of the state will increase the risk of spreading the infection. They reiterate this is not an epidemic and caution against panic. We have some service here if you don't mind. Sorry, folks, I don't have no table service tonight. My help didn't come in. That's all right. Just put the food out and we'll serve it ourselves. Suit yourself. No specials tonight, neither. My cook ran off to El Paso as soon as he heard about the fever. Would you cut the blarney and just get us something to eat, okay? The entire state's on the lookout for their car. They've set up roadblocks near the Arizona border. That's great, Bond. They could catch this guy any minute. <coughs> Honey? I just swallowed the wrong way. You were in your diamond heart. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. I'll buy you a bigger one next anniversary. <laughs> Bonnie. Hi, it's me. Who needs rest now? Okay. Bye, Michael. I'll call you again tomorrow. I love you. Take care, bud. Okay. Asad, make your call. Bettina. Colin, you can go and take care of Freddy. We'll wait for you. Why me? Do you want to ride with him in this car? You have a connection. Assalamu alaikum. The caravan is moving. 
he wants to speak with you. Don't speak, just listen. I will not stay in that house beyond 1,600 hours tomorrow. If you have not delivered what I'm owed by that time, you will suffer the consequences. to fetch ya. Come on, boy. We've got a new car. And we food for you. Come on, Freddy. He was too weak to go far. Find him. I need some help then, because it's pitch black out there and I don't even have a torch. It's the police. Get in. What if they find him and he talks? We have no choice. We can't run around out there with flashlights. He'll die of exposure if he's not dead already. Go, Hassan. Found the suburban and one of the fugitives. The one who survived? No, I don't think so. In fact, this one just came down with the fever. Where is he? They took him to the hospital in Silver City. I'll be right out. Place for a little double cross? Are you sweating now? What's scaring you? It's nothing. It's hot. It's hot in here. Then get out. Come and take the wheel. You're ready to drive fast. Stay ahead. Move slowly. My people are honorable men. They respect the contract. Goliath, I haven't survived so many years by listening to the pebble of children. The, the key is above the door. Get it.
I don't see my money. I will send it. No worry. This boy is not sweating from fear. He has a fever. Yes, sir. I'm down here in room 111. You've got to get these men out of here, Lieutenant. They're in danger this close. All right, boys. Let's go. Let's clear out this section. Okay. Did you find any idea on this guy? Nothing but a pocket full of pesos. Here it is. We can take over from here. Thank you. Put this on whoa, over the head. Whoa, whoa, hey. Oh, hold on. Wait a minute. This guy's wanted for murder. Well, we understand that, Lieutenant, but what's important right now is we find out where his friends are. That's important to us, too. But you're not going to get anything out of this guy. He won't even give us his name. Do you want to go back in the room with us? Hell no. I don't blame you. Could I have your name, please? I'm Dr. Whitney. Could I have your name, please? I don't have time to be delicate. You have a disease that cannot be cured. I'm offering you a chance to save yourself. Your friend who survived carries a resistance to this disease in his blood. If I can find him, and get that blood, I can use it to save your life. This could kill hundreds of thousands of people, maybe millions, maybe someone you love. This woman's gonna give you a chance to live, pal. Who you protected anyway, huh? The ones that left you behind? Think about it. You're gonna die for them. Is that him? Yeah. Where can we find him? He's at a ranch near Tucson. The tip and tea. Arizona State Police. No, they'll get to him before we do. I want to be there when this Klaus Bowson is taken. If he gets shot, if he dies, then so does Michael. Can he talk? He's incoherent, Bonnie. His temperature's at 105. But why is it moving so fast? It's only been two days since his symptoms started. He didn't contract it in the usual way. He, he had an accident with infected blood. He cut himself? Needle jab. The infection went directly to his bloodstream. Sorry. Tell him. Tell him I love him. I will. How long have you been married, Bonnie? Five years. Any kids? Michael wanted to have one. I wanted to wait. I wanted to keep my career going, you know. He was always afraid that time would slip away. Fox, this is Wolf. Come in, Fox. 
This is Fox. What's your location? Approaching the Arizona border. We've got company. Who? Oh. The green pickup back there has been tailing us ever since Silver City. Why? I don't know. I first thought they might be New Mexico undercover police, but now I don't think so, because they just followed us into Arizona. Do you think it's reporters? Well, we'll find out when the time's right. You're wasting bullets. Have to keep my eye. Gunshots may frighten off our delivery man. Do you want him to go away without giving us our money? The boy has chills now. When his man shows with the money, he'll live with him. We don't need him anymore. Klaus, what happens if I get the fever? What will you do? This is a foolish question, Bettina. If you were going to get the fever, you would have it by now. Maybe. But what would you do? I want to know. Would you shoot me like you did, George? What is this? A test of how much I love you. I know how much you love me. <laughs> Never as much as I love you. You know how I hate these schoolgirl conversations. I know. Exactly what you would do. And I understand. Just promise me that you will not let me suffer. Stop it. Promise me, Klaus. I would prefer to die quickly. I promise. <laughs> the tipping tea is 12 miles from here on North Hula Road. 3,000 acres of unused land and absentee owner. time we found out who they are. Taking it right on the first dirt road beyond the 89 intersection. What's your position? We're a half hour behind. Stop. Now put your hands up and get out. Put your hands up! Come on, get moving. Up against there. Move it. Get going. Put your hands on the truck. Put your hands on the truck! These guys are reporters. Hold this. Part of that gang we're chasing, huh? Gang? I don't know what you're talking about. You know what he's talking about? I don't know what he's talking about. Cute. I'm gonna call the state police. Maybe by the time they get here, you'll learn how to talk. All right, Elvis? Let's go. Fox, this is Wolf. Come in. 
Fox, this is Wolf. Come in. Something is wrong. Drive faster. Go. <laughs> Tire tracks. They're in there, all right. Gila County Sheriff's Department. Gila County Sheriff's Department. Do you copy? This is the Sheriff's Department. Who is this, please? Special Agent Elgin Sweetroot, FBI. Request assistance in the apprehension of four illegal immigrants wanted in New Mexico. In connection with the shooting deaths of a Border Patrol officer. A civilian near Jericho, an unidentified male near Deming. Do you copy? Uh, we copy. What is your location? North Gila Road, yes. CBT Ranch. When can I expect them over? Sheriff Wilkerson's in court in Tucson. I'm expecting him back in a couple hours. So what does that mean? I sit here and wait over? I have no units available. I can request help from the Cochise County Sheriff. He could be there in 30 minutes. As soon as you can, over. I'm not waiting. These people are killers. We can't go in there without any backup. That's right. We're not going in. You go in there alone, you're going to get yourself killed. I go in with a gun, I'll get myself killed. I'm a doctor. I'll walk in and talk to these people. Listen, I can't let you take that risk. Damn it, Elgin. If I can't save Michael, what the hell do I have to live for? Hold it! We'll go in there together, but we're going to do it my way. Do you understand? This is it. This is it. Turn, turn here. Turn here. <laughs> there is no food in this house, so I should go for supplies. We don't need supplies. It's four o'clock. We're leaving. And uh, you will walk away from two million Deutschmarks. Do you think if the money is not here as ordered that we will ever see it? Staying longer here is dangerous. These people are playing games, Bettina. I want them. Who are these people? No land for the Palestinians and no peace for Israel. That's who they are now. But dead men when I find them. Somebody's coming. Go and talk to them. We'll cover you. They sent a woman. Says people don't trust women. I don't know if you've picked up the news from the radio or the Be television. Be careful what you say. But a highly infectious disease is spreading from New Mexico into Arizona. I've been touring the ranches in the area to make people aware of it and to find out if there's anyone with symptoms of the disease. Nobody's sick here? I need to see for myself. Excuse me? I've been federally mandated to inspect the premises. We're dealing with an epidemic here. I don't give a flying. Yes, doctor. We have a sick person here. Please come in. I'll get my bag. No. The boy is in there. I'm a doctor. Do I... Do I have the fever? That's what I'm going to find out. What 
do you think you're doing? Do you want to kill her and have the police come looking for her? Better to live here clean. What about Assad? How can he hurt us? Mossad already knows who we are, and the boy has no idea where we go from here. You take a look around. I'll keep watch here. You... you have medicine for this? Don't you? Huh? I think... pretty soon. inside. It's better to surprise them and get them all. Stay here. Turn around. Put him up! Been tracking your butt since the border, pal. You're under arrest for murder. Now go sit down on that couch. Now, sit down. Move it! Doc, tell him. I don't have time to get into long explanations. You had an infectious disease and you got better. Your blood has antibodies that can help a lot of people suffering from the disease. I need a pint of your blood. Now you can do this willingly, or I can put your lights out, but either way you're gonna do it, and you can do it now. Do you understand? I do it. Lie down. Sheriff's Department. He is Mossad. It's really intelligence. Come here! Oh. Is he alive? His heart stopped. He's wanted in the deaths of hundreds of people. His life is worthless. Not to me! Somebody help me, I need to keep his blood flowing. His blood is my only hope now, please. I will help Mark. Let it go. Head back, jaw open. Breathe, wait. One, two, three, four, wait, five, breathe. I can't do this and drop blood, I need help. He's dead. This isn't going to save his life, is that what you're worried about? Help me! Help her! Still, still alert. One, two, with the heel. Four, five, and breathe. Two, four, five, and breathe. Two, three, yes, four, five, breathe. One, two, three, four, five, and breathe. Two, yes, three, 
four, five. Breathe. Three, four, five. Breathe. Head back. One, two, three, four, five. And breathe. One, two, three, four, five. And breathe. One, two, three, four, five. And breathe. And one, two, three, four, five. And breathe. One, two, three, four, five. And breathe. One, two, three, four, five. And breathe. Temperature's normal. The capillaries stop bleeding. And the others. Getting better. One small step for man. For this step. You know that saving my life makes you responsible for me forever. I hope so. Me too. <laughs>